Hello. Today, we are going to deal with optimization in linear programming. Objective, graphing of linear inequalities using GeoGebra. And two, we are going to have use of search line to identify the maximum and sometimes minimum points, minimum points, and three, relate linear programming to conceptual issues. We are going to maximize the value of 3x plus 5y. Remember, this forms our objective function. And the four inequalities that we have, this this four forms our decision variables. These are decision variables. Decision variables. And the value is 20. We have 25. We have 20. And then we have 5, which can be brought here to be negative 5, are the constraints. So we have various areas that we are going to deal with in linear programming. So we are going to get in the linear inequalities that we have been given. The first one is x minus 3y uh, plus 5 see, is less or equal to 0. So that is our first. Then you enter. So when you enter, you are going to get the shaded area in the feasible region. So what I would like us to do that we our feasible region should be unshaded. So you right click on the inequality graph, then you go to setting, then you go to style, then you inverse. So in the inverse, we want to change uh, the shading part. Then we can have the blue color and then we can go to basic and then we name uh, our graph. So caption and value. Then that is it. So our graph has been named, it is here. That is our inequality. So we come to the second inequality, you just key them in. Uh, which is 2x, uh, 2x plus y, 2x plus y is less or greater than 20, is less or great or equal to 20. So that forms your second inequality, and then you enter. When you enter, then we say that the shaded region, the shaded region of the graph, we have said, represents the feasible region. So you go to setting and then you inverse, you inverse that graph and then we can use dots because we want a distinction between the lines. We can change the color and then we can also name that graph so that we can have a distinction in them so we have the second one now if you look at the graph we are having it is moving uh, towards the right hand side we can move it down we can drag it down because we don't need the negative side okay just like that it becomes nice so the second inequality is uh, we have 3x plus 2y uh, 3x plus 2y then is greater or equal to uh, 25. Then you enter. As usual, uh, we are going to have to inverse the curve. Remember, the reason why we are inversing is to make sure that our region of the graph, so we need to leave the feasible region unshaded and it will be better for us. So we can have green, 
uh, for that area. And then we can have basic, we need to, to name the line. So we have the fine one, which is here, 3x plus 2y is greater than 25. And the final one is, final decision variable is x is, uh, is equal or greater than, uh, greater than zero. Enter. So, which gives us, uh, which we need to inverse also. When you inverse, then we can change the color. Uh, we can have yellow can have yellow there. Uh, okay, so then that makes it that makes it nice. So we can come to basic, we name it, and then there it is. So we realize that our feasible region goes upwards. We can improve by improving the scale. So we can improve the scale slightly that way. We can Im just improve the scale that way. It becomes nice. So this becomes our feasible region. This becomes our feasible region. Then looking at our objective function, this objective function, 3x plus 5y, you see, we can rewrite it as, because we want to graph it. So how do we graph it? This is what we are going to do. So we have 3x plus 5y. So what the students have to realize is that you look at this value because we are going to use the search line. We are going to use the search line. So this 25, this is 20, this is zero. So the the nearest value that we can use here that is closer to this 20 and, th and uh, 20, uh, 25 is 30 so that we can have a line uh, just like almost like the lcm but you can pick a higher value as long as the line will not be very far away uh, from the feasible region so we have picked 3x plus 5y is equals to 30 this is what we are going to graph So let us key in the value here. So we have 3x plus 5y is equals to uh, 30. So you can see where the line is. This is our line. This is our line here. So we can enter. Then we can do one or two things on the line. We can set uh, the line. We can uh, change the color of the line. Let the line be which color have we used. Uh, uh, we can maybe pick uh, a blue one, a deep blue, a deep blue. Can do. Then uh, we can name the line. Uh, I name the line there and uh, that is it or we can also change the style of the line so that it can be different from the rest and remember this line is fixed is fixed so you unfix the line unfix the line remember to unfix the line because we are going to move the line this line is going to move so how do we now now we have our search line this search line will be will be moving parallel to its uh, particular gradient that we have. So we are going to maintain 3x plus 5y as, uh, as, as our equation of this line. So if you hold the line, you can see now the line is moving. The line is moving and it is parallel to its gradient. It's moving. So that is the first thing. The line is, this is what we call the search line. This is a search line. So then how do we locate the maximum point? You move the line up to the last point of the line that moves out of the feasible region. So, 
So this one cannot be uh, maximum point because there is still space here and the search line is still on this side. So you continue moving the line, move the line up to the last point. So the last point is here. You can see at 20, at 20. So what are you, what is the combination of production? The, the output that you're going to produce. We have zero for X and 20 uh, values or units for Y. Okay, we have zero units for X and 20 units for Y. So in the production here, we have said we have zero units for X and 20 units for Y. This is the maximum combination of output, units of output that this person can produce in order to maximize the profit, in order to, uh, to maximize the output uh, that is producing. So therefore, we are now moving to the third part. How can we relate? linear programming to conceptual colleagues. Let us look at a different situation. We can engage our learners in this particular situation so that we can have a discussion and it can really open up their mind. We want to create open-mindedness of the learner and also international mindedness of the learner. We also want to enhance creativity. So the learner will have to realize that there is a problem here. So we have a very well established estate here. And look at what is happening here. Immediately, what will come into the mind of the learners as part of the discussion and uh, kind of discovery is there is inequality. Inequality in the society. These are the things that the learner has to establish. Look at this. This is a beggar with a child. This is a family with more than enough. So learners have to realize that there are those who have excess and that there are those who are in need less than. There are those who have greater than even what they need. Also, link that topic to what we have here also, which is almost like the first one. There is a well-established units here, and there is the suburb, people who are living here who are poor. So this is the distinction between the rich and the poor, the haves and the have-nots. Also, look at this situation. These are two workers, these are two employees who are working. One is getting a lot of income, one is not getting uh, enough income. You can see these are all inequalities in our lives. So I would like you, if you like this video, subscribe to it, like it, and I'll be producing more and we shall be discussing more in other particular areas. Thank you.